Ta-da! I'm Electra Wiedemann. I am founder and editor-in-chief of Impatient Foodie and food contributor at Refinery29. I take my coffee short and very dark, just like these. Uh. <laughs> Followed by like, oh, now I get to have caffeine. <laughs> I was modeling and I, everything was going great. I was super psyched, but I just always was like really terrified of like the phone stopping ringing. And I just wanted to have a plan B. And so I literally put out applications to a bunch of different grad schools. And LSE was the first one to come back to me. Um, for the, you know, Masters of Science in Biomedicine. I, I literally was like, okay, I'm gonna apply to that. I really wanted to kind of marry slow food ideals with fast-paced urban life, and I didn't feel like anybody was doing that. I don't wanna talk about raspberry jam for 45 minutes, and I don't really care to make a stew that takes eight hours long, so like, how can I, how can I have both? I think cooking and planning your menu should be the same. Like you should have things that you can make the day before, something that you can just have ready in the fridge and something that you're cooking like in the moment while your friends are there. My second rule is to have light music playing but to have it not be music with lyrics because I find that that really interrupts conversation. And I do do seating arrangements where I have like certain people at dinner parties who I consider like conversational anchors. I wear my pajamas all the time. Um, I was just at a seven day silent meditation retreat and I wore my pajamas for an entire week and it was amazing. Meditating a minimum of four hours a day. Um, you're completely silent, you're not allowed to read, you're not allowed to make eye contact. Let me put it this way. If somebody said to me, Electra, like you get to choose any five star resort in the world and we will fly you there in a private jet and you can fly all your friends in, or you can pay to go to a week-long silent retreat and share a bedroom with somebody you don't know and a bathroom and there's no heating and no air conditioning. Those are the choices. I would choose the silent retreat every time. Totally, I'm so glad you asked. Here we go. The first time I learned how to do that, I like almost cried, by the way. 